Mambara Piki Salam Dustan! My name is Avin and welcome to my Avin Dust Club. Today, we're gonna make, finally, Lemon Drizzle Cakes! I know they say cakes, but it's actually club cakes. Kind of like cupcakes, but they don't have frosting. Delicious! So we're gonna use 200 grams of butter. My butter, my butter kind is migraine because I don't take actual butter. But if you also don't take actual butter, use that. I'm allergic to actual butter. And two cups of flour, three eggs, some vanilla, and some lime juice because you don't have lemons. But if you have lemons, two lemons, okay? And how much zest you want, you can put as much as zest you want. If you don't want zest, you don't need to put zest. So I already have uh, two cups of uh, sugar in here in the, th in the whisking bowl. I'm gonna have some and it's a lot of sugar in these. So we're gonna start by hmm, putting the butter in. Whoa, I heard it's really not that hot. Putting the butter, mixing it with the sugar. Oh, come on, get ow, 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 ow. Don't over uh, melt it, don't over melt it. Now I need a spoon. Even if it's not coming out of your bowl, you have to keep trying. Because if you make it uh, very watery, it's, uh, I don't know how it's going to turn out. But hmm? I'd rather use this much. Let's so, put that in. Ah! Oh, sorry. Now, I'm going to whisk it 1%. Don't over whisk it. This is how it should look right now. It looks like sticky little stuff with shiny sugar in it. Next, we're gonna, we already have the sugar. Now we're gonna do the eggs. Let's crack them in. Wow. Three eggs. Imagine if there are eight eggs. Yeah, there is a recipe I've known with eight eggs. Boop. Let's crack. That in. Make sure you have an adult to help you if you don't know how to crack an egg. Curls. So what is that red thing? Oh, no. Just a piece. Yeah, it's nothing. Let's make some stuff from this stuff. There we go. I got my three eggs in. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. You've gotta wash your hands after this, otherwise, all gross. Then I'm gonna put that aside because I don't wanna see it. Looks like cracked chicken eggs. <laughs> now I'm gonna just put it and blend it. Again, don't over whisk it. Then I'm gonna put some flour slowly by slowly because if I put all of it at once, it's gonna blush out. Then I have to be like, I need my baby. <laughs> so, let's put a little now. Let's put a little, a little. There. Now first we're gonna blend this. And if it's sprouting up, please hug it. Okay, now I'm whisking, but I still didn't add the whole flour. But before we do that, I'm just going to add some vanilla extract with a small spoon, which I have got to get from over there. Small spoon. I know I'm using a big spoon, but I couldn't find a small spoon right now. Okay. Mine looks like honey. You don't need to use this kind. It's kind of pricey. Well, I'm gonna add that right now. Make sure you get the sides of the stuff that's left over on the side. This is really gonna be good. Okay. I'm just gonna put this there. I'm gonna close that. Sometimes it 
splashes. That's why I'm wearing an apron. Not to get my white clothes dirty. Especially my unicorn. So now I'm gonna whisk it for a little bit. And I'm gonna try to get the sides. If it's too hard for you to do that, use a spoon. Just like how I'm doing. A bit more. Because I don't want it to be too like hard to, for the whisker even to whisk. By putting the flower now it looks uh, like this look it looks a little thick this is why we have some of the lemon juice so like if you have lemons very good lemons you add use two but since I had limes and I don't have lemons because the lemons at the store were not that good so that's why I put like five limes because limes don't have that much juice it in until there's not even a drop left and guess who got all the juice me barehanded yunch and I'm gonna blend it in. if you don't want the zest it's okay but I rather add some zest not a whole thing okay if you want it's so zesty you can add a lot of zest enough it should look like this right now not very thick now I'm gonna add this with another spoon cuz this had touched a lot of spoons it's gonna be thick and hard to get out get out 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 now okay I used I Gonna whisk it a little bit more until all of the zest is inside. Don't whisk it until the zest is all juicy. That's enough. Now the hard part. How do I get this thing? Oh, oh I get it now. Just, oh, I need a like. Now I'm gonna. How do I get this thing out? So right now, I'm gonna use an ice cream scooper to take the batter out and put it in these cups, like I have paper cups. And since there's too much to use for, since we don't have a, a cupcake tray, I'm gonna use our muffin tray, make six muffins and cupcakes. And since it's too much to keep in the fridge, cause it's gonna go bad, gonna make it a tray, purple lemon drizzle cake. So I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop since I never even eat ice cream. So I only eat like ice lolly. Okay. Wow. And I'm gonna use like this thing to get it out. It's fine if you don't have it. You can use the regular one. It's still gonna give you a little bit of trout. But you'll manage it, manage it I mean, not balance it. That's enough, because I don't want it to puff up just like last time we made mini cupcakes with my mom without you. And then they just squirted everywhere because we put too much. Okay. Whoa. You can use like reusable uh, cupcake, I mean cupcake mm, cups. But since we don't have those, we're going to eat. These paper cups. It's been a long time since we made any uh, cupcakes. Since now, finally, we're making one recipe from here. I wanted to make hot crust buns, but since I found out it was a kind of sweet bread, I was like, what? I tasted that a hundred times. 
Oh, it's so squishy. My mom would have told that earlier. Good thing we had all the ingredients we need from the book, but we added vanilla extract as an extra ingredient because it makes everything taste nice since we added lots of eggs. So guys, I, I got everything in there and since I had extra, I made it. And make sure you just, just don't randomly put it. Put some butter so that when you try to get it out without butter, it sticks. So now I have my oven at 160 Celsius fan gas. It's hot now. It feels like warm bath. But still, no, it's not. And where are those gloves? I'm gonna put them in. Oh, I forgot to wear gloves. Now where are the gloves? Oh, they're up there. Didn't see them. I couldn't reach it, so I asked my mom to sit. Oh, there we go. And where am I supposed to get this in? Whoa. So guys, I'm back. And you're getting, and the lemon drizzle cake and cupcakes are ready to be eaten. So I have my brother here to taste uh -huh. test it. And he's gonna about to lick the tray, which is boiling hot after it just came out of the oven. So we're gonna taste this soup together. The first bite. Come on, Kian, let's try. Oh, what, 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 what. Ah, never mind. It's not that hot. It cool. Oh, look at the size of that. You can take one too, Kian. Here. Wow, it's spiky. Okay, you want this one? Yes, thank you. Okay. Woo! Now, guys, let's see. I'm gonna take off the paper. Ah, we forgot to add oil. Ah, yeah, that's okay. <gasps> it didn't stick. Come on, guys. Let's see who's gonna take the first part. Can ready? Just eat. Just eat. Just eat. Okay. Now you need a plate. Okay, let's do this. One, two, two. three. Mmm. -hmm. Now that's my way of making lemon drizzle cake and lemon drizzle cupcake. Mm. You better try making this. Ah. It's mind blowing. Mm. The crust is very nice and sweet. Wow. That kind of <laughs> Even though ours took more than 30 minutes. It was worth the waiting. Ah, it's so delicious. Now I'm gonna relax and have it. Bye. Kwaheri, good office. Good office. Mm hmm. This tastes wonderful. Bye.